she fell out the window. Don't move her. What happened? The hell? Don't move her? What happened? Some sort of an accident? That's so dark. Oh, maybe that's it. It's so dark. I, maybe I can light this? There's a candle here. Only two or three matches are left. Everything's just covered in cobwebs. There's something below the chair. Is this a birthday card? To my dearest daddy, happy birthday. From Amy Baldwin. I probably have to try to give that to Ernest. It's a pile of junk from the spider web. Doesn't look like there's anything useful. A lit candle provides some light in the area. Yeah, let's go back to Ernest. What? Oh, I don't like that. To my daddy. Oh. Love how that played just as we used the door. I want to go back into the kids' room. Let's see if there's somebody here. I'm relieved that there isn't. Give it to my daddy, the card. Oh, God. This place is very confined. Contents unknown. Can I examine it? Ah, oh, it's just the description, right? Yeah, we're not going to open the present. I meant to use that. I can't use that here. Maybe I just need to knock on the door. Oh! Ernest? Now you can see the fog rolling by the windows out there. Nothing interesting inside or above the fireplace. Can't blame me for looking. It's a book here. Looks like a plant encyclopedia. Acacia. A genus of evergreen tree of the mimosa tribe of the Pia, Pia family. Its tiny flowers are yellow or white and grow in clusters. Common varieties include the gum tree. The acacia tree is a potent symbol in many religions across the world. In Christianity, it represents eternal life and morality. 
In ancient Egypt, it represented purity and rebirth. While in ancient Babylonia, it was thought of as the tree of the goddess Ishtar and was a symbol of life. It was also a holy tree to the ancient Jews who built the sacred Ark of the Covenant from it and for whom it signified a peaceful death and a release from grief. Oh, it's one of those bugs, isn't it? Two of those damn bugs. Let's take a health drink, heal myself up. Now it's unlocked. Oh, right. Just leads in there. What is this? Does it like lead behind all the rooms? Leads to a service room? Yeah, you can still see the fog outside. I don't know if the other door works. Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. I didn't realize how close it was.
bookshelf was lined with complete editions of difficult-looking books. Not interested in any of that. Lost Memories I have the strongest trust, you may even call it faith, in the miracle called Resurrection of the Dead. Upon the hill where the light descended, the beast intoned his song, with words of blood, drops of mist, and the vessel of night, the grave became an open field. You know, Silent Hill 2 didn't really involve the cult in any of the things that were happening at all. I'm sure things they had done had something to do with it behind the scenes, to some degree, but I don't think we ever really heard anything of the cult of Silent Hill, but this feels like the cult. The people wept in fear and joy at the reunion, but my faith in the salvation of, uh, Zuchi, Paba did not waver. It is also spoken of in the ancient legends. The original worshippers did not believe that death was the end, but that it was simply the path by which the deceased returned to nature. They also believed the process was reversible. There's something imprinted towards the bottom of the page. Did Ernest write this? What could it mean? Blood equals red, mist equals white, night equals black. The plates? Blood, mist, night, red, white, black. Do we still have the plates? We don't. So I take it Ernest is or was trying to bring back Amy? Did Amy... I'm pretty sure Amy died in an accident, it sounded like, when we went up to the attic. Why do you ask me that? This letter. To my dearest daddy. It's from a girl named Amy Baldwin. Your daddy? Yes. Where'd you find that? Up in the attic. What a fool. Now, when it's too late, I finally understand why. <laughs> why she was there. Why she was holding that empty envelope when she, when she fell. Ernest, Amy, she isn't... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I reminded you. No need to apologize. You didn't remind me. I've never forgotten. Maria, some things we forget, and some things we can never forget. Funny, I'm not sure which one is sadder. It's been ten years, but I still... Ernest, I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, it's, it's fine. Maria, that letter. I'll leave it here. Thanks. Maria? 
So you must be. That's why. That's why you could see me. Huh? So perhaps that means that I can hope for a miracle as well. What do you mean? In the apartment next door, there's a bottle containing a white liquid. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know it's in there somewhere. I must have it. You want me to get it for you? Please. Why don't you just get it yourself? If I could, believe me, I would. But I. White? I'll open the stairway door. Ernest, do you really believe it will work? I don't know. Well, that's okay. I don't mind fighting for an impossible cause. Anyway, it beats just giving up and doing nothing. Maria, thank you. It beats just giving up and doing nothing. It sounds like Maria is regaining her will to live. That's so different than how she was at the very beginning. Amy's present to her father. Ernest, found with a birthday card. I think I'll leave this here. So, Ernest said, you too? That's why you could see me? So there's still hope for a miracle? Me too? Like what? What about Maria? Is, is Maria dead? But does, does that imply Ernest is dead? Still hope for a miracle? Still hope for Amy to come back? I guess... Maybe that's what they mean, that we're spirits and that's why we could see each other and the miracle would be Amy coming back as a spirit as well. So maybe Maria isn't real in the strictest sense, but I mean, they're real enough for Silent Hill to spend the whole game off and on with James. They're real enough. So they'd open the stairway door. I think they're talking about the one next to the red square, but let me try the door to the dining room and the playroom. Oh. Wait, was that it? No, we just unlocked that from the other side. I see. Looks like there's a stairwell directly behind where we just were, though.
can't pass through here. It's blocked by a wall. So they must have been talking about back here. Yeah. Should I even ask how they unlocked it? Don't have a map of this area. Oh, what's that? Some kind of plate. Amy Baldwin? She was loved too much by God. Seven years was not enough time. Hold on. Oh, they're coming down from the ceiling. Just had to use a bunch more. So I can't pick this up. Seven years was not enough time. I wonder if... Ah, that must be important. Seven. Seven years. Oh, I don't like this hallway. This place looks entirely different. Did we somehow stay indoors and manage to go next door? Haunted Mansion. <laughs> God, I love these camera shots. So good. Don't have a map of this area. Where are we exactly?
This is a bad hallway. It's really unnerving. It's so wet. My god, look at those reflections. You can see the exit sign reflected in the pool of water. You see that? That's amazing. Exit, probably. Yeah. Something's written on the desk, but it's too dark to read. The white liquid. That was it? I could barely even see it. It was so small. Can I find a flashlight or turn on the lights? filled with an unknown red liquid, or white liquid rather. The label reads, I deny thee. This place is familiar. Trash chute. Laundry room. Just run back. I've got the white liquid. Wait. Where's that? There's also an upstairs. here. Oh, it's a map. Yes. We're in Blue Creek Apartment. That's right. James crossed over into a small part of Blue Creek Apartment because it was sort of connected to another apartment building. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like I really need a flashlight. Disgusting. Isn't this the room where I can see the apartment next door through the window? This is the room where we climbed in from the other apartment building into Blue Creek apartment. And that disgusting toilet we just saw was where we found somebody's like wallet that had a safe code in it. Yeah, there's the safe. Don't know how to open it. So yeah, this is the same world that James inhabited, but we're just seeing a different part of it. Dear Tim, I have to run an errand, so I'm going out. Left the house key with Uncle David. You know where he lives, don't you? Yeah, this, we've seen this message before. James saw it. We fought Pyramid Head here. Hold on. There's one more door to try out here. They should take me to the alley that runs to the park. But at first, I'd better take care of my promise to Ernest. The park. Yeah, I think we are going to end at the park, aren't we? Well, at least I know where it is. Can I go up to the third floor?
Oh, hi. Wait, aren't those doors that I never... Oh, I don't know the map of this area. I thought there were some doors I never tried. But whatever, I have the white stuff. That's what matters. Thank you, Maria. That's the only item I couldn't get myself. By the time I found out about it, I could no longer leave this house. So long. Yes, but will... Maria, the gods are here. You know it too. You were born in this town. I'm not sure God is the right word. Do you believe in fate? Not really. That's fine then. Ernest, can I open this? This is a dead end. There's nothing beyond here. I know. So... What if I had said I believed in fate? That James. He's a bad man. James. For the you, that isn't you. Because he's kind? Do you... know something? Yes. Maria, you're... Anyway, that's just what you think. You don't really know anything. That's fine. Okay.
shame. No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? My name is Maria.